See, I started long, long time before I started in 1999, I used to paint. Till 2006, I painted very heavily. I just did a lot of work. And then yoga took over my, and and I wanted to, I was so skilled. I, I was a, what do you call, basically a figurative artist. And you know, from figurative, you work, work, work towards abstraction. So I gave a break of 15 years, I didn't paint. But I practiced and I practiced, you know, went on to deep study because, you know, painting is not something you can just do like that. There is so much of aspect of painting like composition, colors, textures, light, there's so many things into it. And get, when everything gets together, then only the painting looks very pretty and nice. And it looks very beautiful and meaningful. So I generally paint nature. Most of the time I paint is nature because there's nothing as pretty as nature, you know. Uh, when you do abstraction of nature, so basically uh, most of my work, you see this is a flower, you know. This is abstraction of a flower. But as an abstract artist, you, you don't look at white flower, green flower. You abstract the colors. You remove the fundamentals of the object and more and more fundamentals you remove slowly slowly the abstraction so if this is a hand and you are doing an abstraction of the hand you can make any color of the hand but hand should look like a hand Fifteen years I taught yoga. For twenty years I promoted, taught yoga, opened school all over the world. And then I always wanted to paint. Then I said, okay, now for two, three, four years I'm going to paint. So I started painting. Your know-how of the body, know-how of the mind, the juxtapositions of the brain, how the thought process work. You know, the know-how of the knowledge will always reflect in any work you do. You know, so when you know the body, when, see there's always a movement, see most of my work is based on movement and when something moves in a, in a flat canvas, it looks very nice. <laughs> 